Hi everyone, this lesson is on diabetes and high early morning glucose levels. So we're gonna talk about what causes those high early morning glucose levels, including what we call the Dawn phenomenon and the Samogi effect. Now it's important to note that there is a normal fluctuation of blood glucose levels throughout the day. But the topic of this lesson is the causes of increased glucose in the morning before breakfast. So what we are going to talk about in this lesson is what we call the Dawn phenomenon and the Samogi effect. So before we talk about the Dawn phenomenon and the Samogi effect, I want to briefly talk about glucose regulation by hormones because once we better understand this, we're going to better understand the Dawn phenomenon and the Samogi effect. So glucose is regulated by insulin, so insulin helps to reduce glucose levels in the blood. But some other counter-regulatory hormones that can increase glucose levels include glucagon, epinephrine, and growth hormone. So all of these can increase glucose levels. Now, with regards to increased glucose, so if there is increased glucose, say for instance after eating a meal, this can cause a increase in insulin. So insulin will go up in response to that higher glucose. And what will also be noted is that that high glucose, because it increases insulin, insulin actually inhibits glucagon. So insulin decreases glucagon levels. And then we also see a decrease in growth hormone. So growth hormone is responsive to increased glucose levels. Increased glucose levels decrease growth hormone. In the case where there is low glucose, low glucose leads to increased glucagon and increased epinephrine. And because there's no increased glucose, that increased glucose is not going to cause the pancreas to release insulin. So we're only going to see increased glucagon and increased epinephrine. And these hormones are going to go up in response to low glucose once glucose has gone below certain thresholds. So now that we know how these hormones and glucose interact, let's talk about the Dawn phenomenon. The Dawn phenomenon is where there is growth hormone levels that increase at night when sleeping. Growth hormone increase at night for everyone. So everyone has higher growth hormone levels at night. But high levels of growth hormone at night leads to increased glucose. So what happens is overnight growth hormone increases. This happens to everybody. And we mentioned that growth hormone acts to increase glucose levels. But we also mentioned that glucose or higher levels of glucose inhibits growth hormone. So initially growth hormone increases overnight. It will increase glucose levels, but at a point, that high glucose will lead to inhibition of growth hormone. So by the morning, we're going to see higher levels of glucose and lower levels of growth hormone. This is going to happen in everyone, but in some patients, they may have higher levels of glucose in the morning. So this is what we call the Dawn phenomenon. Now, the Samogi effect is different. Samogi effect is when there is decreased glucose at night or during the middle of the night, and this leads to increased levels of counter-regulatory hormones like glucagon and epinephrine. And then what happens is that those increased glucagon and epinephrine levels lead to increased glucose. So again, if we look at our chart here, during the initial parts of the night, usually during the middle of the night, if glucose levels are too low, they can lead to the activation or induction of release of glucagon and epinephrine. So these two hormones can increase in levels, eventually leading to an increase in glucose later on. So by the morning, we start to see that glucose is higher because of glucagon and epinephrine. This is what we call the Samogi effect. And you might be wondering what might be causing that initial low glucose. And oftentimes, but not always, oftentimes it's going to be caused by increased insulin. So if a patient is taking insulin, if they have taken too much at night, oftentimes it's going to be MPH insulin. If they've taken too much of it, this can lead to hypoglycemia during the night or low glucose levels. And this is going to lead to these glucagon and epinephrine increasing in levels. And this is going to ultimately lead to high glucose in the morning. So a way to remember the Samogi effect is so much insulin. Samogi effect, so much insulin, because Again, oftentimes it's going to be due to increased insulin levels that lead to decreased glucose. Although other causes can lead to this as well. It could be that perhaps a patient is not eating their evening snack, so their glucose levels perhaps are lower than they usually are, or perhaps they've been more active at night and they haven't adjusted their insulin levels 
to compensate. So those can also be other causes that can lead to this effect as well. But what I want you to take away is that oftentimes it's going to be higher levels of insulin that a patient has taken that lead to low levels of glucose and ultimately higher levels of these other hormones that ultimately lead to high glucose in the morning. So those are the two effects I wanted to talk about in this lesson, the Dawn phenomenon and the Samogi effect. So I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.